Hi and welcome to another lesson from Getting Started with WordPress, a free online course by the Clickstarter. In this lesson, we'll learn about customizing your site's background and header images. Use this video as a guide and follow along on your own WordPress site. If you don't have a WordPress site yet, visit this link to find out how we will create one for you absolutely free. We will be using the 2011 theme with the default options. If you change the color scheme and layout of 2011, go back to the theme options and reset the color scheme, link color and layout. Here's how the site should look at the moment. Many themes let you change the background through the appearance admin screens. Here we are at the appearance background screen. On this page, we can use an image for our website background, change the color of the background or use both at once. Let's look at the simpler option first, changing the background color. First, click this link to bring up the color picker. Now use the mouse to select a color and then click Save Changes. Let's have a look at our handiwork. The website now has a blue background. Now let's try using a background image instead. First, I select the image from my computer that I want to use for the background and then click Upload. Now we can choose the display options. The preview will change to reflect the selected display options. Play with the options to learn how they affect the position and repeat of the image. Since we are repeating the background image all the way to the bottom, the background color doesn't matter. To apply the background image, click Save Changes. Let's check out the new background. It looks great. The site is starting to look quite different already. We'll continue customizing our site by changing the header image. Using a header image is a great way to display your logo on your website. To change the header image, go to the WordPress admin Appearance Header page. On this page, we can upload our own header image or choose from images we have previously uploaded. By default, 2011 will show one of the default header images at random for each page. There are also more options to let us customize the text color below. WordPress tells us that the header image size should be 1000 by 288 pixels. Don't worry if your image isn't the exact size. WordPress can crop the image for you. To use our own image in the header, we'll need to select the image that we want to use. Click Upload and we'll be brought to the Crop Header screen. Use the mouse to select the crop area and click Crop and Publish to confirm. And now on our website, we can see that the header is now changed. So in a few short minutes, we've taken a simple looking site and customized it quite dramatically. With a little bit of imagination, you'll be able to make a website that stands out from the rest. I hope you found this lesson useful. We provide additional content and a support forum to registered members of click2launch.net. Sign up for a free membership by visiting this link. <laughs>